Cheers to high times! Welcome to high time. Make yourself at home. We got everything. Okay. Everything you want. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Hey, everybody. <laughs> this is the best episode of Behind the Glass I could ever come up with, right? And it wasn't even my idea. It was these lovely ladies right here. They're having a do-it-yourself gin mixing thing, and they invited us to hang out with them. What are you guys watching when we get done? The Bachelorette. Mm, who you guys want to win? Who, who's going to win? We're just meeting them. We're just meeting them. We're just meeting them. I wanted to make sure I don't cover up any of these pretty faces. Mine's okay. You know what I'm so, like I said, it's do-it-yourself, right? So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to step in here. My face is going to be out most of the time. Trust me, you guys don't want to see me. So here we go. Look. The best thing I can do is teach you a couple of lessons, right? When you're making the best cocktail you can ever make, what you want to do is fill it with ice. Ice is the most important thing. That's how you're going to be able to make perfect drinks without going home feeling unperfect. You know what I'm saying? So what you want to do, yes, is top it off with ice. Two things that the ice does, right? It fills up the glass. So the more ice you have in the glass, the less liquor you have in the glass. The more ice you have in the glass, the less chase you have in the glass. So you get to keep everything and still get a perfect drink. So you wanna put that up to the top. What are we gonna go with first? Are we gonna go with the Aviation, which is now being promoted by Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> Deadpool, or are we gonna go with the Bee Feeder, which is the number one selling gin in the world? So this is Bee Feeder Strawberry Pink. So which one we wanna try first? Strawberry Pink. Strawberry Pink. Strawberry Pink. Strawberry Pink. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. This is what we're going to do, right? The first thing you guys like, or ladies like, are garnishes, right? So if we're going to go strawberry, might as well go strawberry. A lot of the times I like to put the garnishes and, and stuff like that in the beginning so you can kind of coat the glass on the side or something like that. But you know, ladies make me nervous, so I forgot. <laughs> Especially the pretty ones. So you know I forgot. You know what I'm saying? So you go ahead and drop a few of those, as many as you like. If you're a strawberry lover, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to garnish the edge with something like this, you can go ahead and split it and hit the edge with it. Just like that. Look how pretty that is, right? So after you do that, you go ahead, put the liquor in first. We crack it open, and we want to pour in halfway. That's what makes it easy. Once you go halfway, this cup is a lot bigger. So we'll go less <laughs> than halfway. Look how pretty that looks. Right? Yes. Yes. So you're already halfway there, right? Tonic. Did I forget? Tonic. Talk about dropping the ball. Luckily, the ladies had my back. They had sparkling wine, lemonade, all that stuff. So we kept the party going. We got garnishes, we got cups, we got ladies, we got mint, we got cucumber, but we forgot the doggone chase. But guess what? We still have strawberries and beef eater pink. So who wants to go first? I'll go first. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one while she tries that out. It is a do it yourself. So guess what, ladies? Matter of fact, I go ahead and let the ladies go ahead and do it themselves before we get to the next drink. We got the Henny that's next to the Remy, that's next to the Diddy, that's under the Ricky. Next to the Chica that's far from the Effin, cause no one that mentioned is Effin with Diddy. We got that Cheesy that's next to the Rosé, that's the Diddy that's the Blue Bella Rosé. We got that Red if you eatin' Rosé, and Margaritas if you eat your Polish. Hi guys! The key to a good drink is filling it up with ice Oh yeah, and by the time we finished the first drink, the bachelorette started, so we gotta cut the party short. But you can follow the ladies on their Instagrams. Check it out. I like it all. I like it. Hey, hey, hey. That's what behind the glass is for. We experiment. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how about this? Sorry. Go ahead, tell me what's your IG. My IG is The Short Travels, and I drink aviation liquor and HTL. Hey! Whoa. <laughs>
Hey, wow. next, what, what's your IG? I can't one up her. My IG is que rico MIA. Que rico. Mm -hmm. Like, rico. Like rico. That? You know Just I'm from like South like Florida. Vicky you know I'm from rico. South Florida. Hey, <laughs> what about you? My name is from A to Z Miami. Hey. Miami Appetite. Ah, the second host of the night, Miami Appetite. <laughs> Pincha Puga. Pincha Puga. This is how we actually got here. She reached out to us, and now we're here. <laughs> What about you? My name is Chelsea Grindelwald. That's yeah. my name too. Now, aren't you the fashion beauty blogger? <laughs> yeah, you thought I forgot about you. And? And mine is Andrea Swain with another E at the end. Oh, yeah. And this... also fashion beauty too. That's you cool. know what? They food, could... A little bit of food too. They could have guessed. You ain't even had to tell them. They would have guessed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Hot time, hot time, hot time. Look at it smoke. If it ain't too Hot Times Liquor and Smoke, located in Pembroke Pines, 6606 Pines Boulevard. 30 seconds away from the turnpike. So that's like, next to Hard Rock, next to Stadium, next to you. Oh, I see you soon. Something like that.